Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we will be doing, uh, doing, doing. well, playing career mode in KSP. Now I know I normally stream this, but in this instance I thought wouldn't it be cool if uh, I'd work on a craft and get it ready for stream because that usually takes a long time. It's more interesting and fun if you guys actually jump in while the craft is already completed. And then we do the mission and we get through the mission and have fun and all this other good stuff because it's rather boring when you're sitting there watching me build the craft rather than actually having the craft ready and ready to go ish so right now i'm looking at the uh, science node advanced rocketry general okay so we we unlocked a couple of them we unlocked aerodynamics and landing and uh, electronics notice that when we unlock it because we're on moderate mode we can't just have everything we have to actually buy the parts i'm kind of uh, disappointed that the parts aren't way more expensive to make it more um more challenging and you have to be more selective on what you buy because this I could literally buy the whole thing and, it's, and it'd be so cheap. It's not as fun, but it'll, it'll, it'll do. However, with these nodes unlocked, I was able to build a craft that acts like an SSTO to the moon. Well, not, not an SSTO, but a two-staged, at least, I think, maybe. Also, while I was testing out crafts, I was able to put our first satellite into orbit, SATCOM-1. There she is, the first ever satellite in this career mode, SATCOM-1. One. Uh, notice that it has a sol solid fuel booster that this was meant to bring the satellite back down to Kerbin after we deemed that we'd we didn't need it anymore. Because let's face it, it's the very first satellite ever. And eventually we'll be making better stuff in the future, so it's 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 kind of, you know, doomed to be uh, uh, thrown away in uh, a relatively short period of time. But for now, it works-ish, I think. <laughs> yes, well, unfortunately, during recording, I forgot that the game sound was entirely too high. You can barely hear my voice. However, I don't don't have the time to fix it, so get over it. So what I'll be working on today is, well, something like this. The Moon SSTO. Well, not SSTO. Then It'll be an upgraded version of the Prometheus. As of right now, the Prometheus, or the only Moon-capable spacecraft that we have in our arsenal in this career mode, is this guy. It's a two-stage rocket. This one gets it halfway up, then it comes back down, parachutes down into one piece, and this guy makes all the journey all the way over to the Moon. So this was the original idea that the actual craft to go to the moon would ride on the back of a suborbital um, air breathing spacecraft or yeah suborbital however I was running into a lot of problems during her entry this thing would flip around a lot because of the fact that it has or had some sort of weight on the back that is no longer there so it's kind of hard at this moment in time to really be able to keep this thing under control once the uh, top part is gone so for the second version instead of having something that's on top I opted for it to be in the back. Got rid of the air breathing engines because it started getting too heavy for the Weasley engines to be any useful at all. But I was still having a problem with the uh, center of mass suddenly jumping forward, I believe. Let me see. No, suddenly, suddenly jumping backwards, I believe. By the way, if you're wondering what this red circle is, it is the empty weight of uh, the center of mass. And yes, that does come from a mod called RCS Aid. I have all my mods in the description below. However, this red circle only gets worse when I when I move the actual moon lander away completely, it goes even further back. So of course that is a problem. So the next version I opted was to actually put the weight on either side like this. So here's the next generation or the next version. I gave it a pilot so that way it has better control. I put all the fuel and most of the weight on the sides. That way I could bring the payload up more closer towards the middle of the spacecraft. Of course I put the landing gears in the far back for uh, to help with the landing with the new science unlocked for the electronics part I was able to put a small solar panel on there to try to keep it charged same thing with the actual Prometheus moon spacecraft gave it some solar panels and some power now interestingly enough I have not tested this spacecraft coming back from the moon at 3,000 plus meters per second so I really don't know how it's gonna react slamming into the atmosphere at that speed it has not been tested yet however during during tests 
yes, I noticed that uh, this thing, this 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 first stage, seems to work a lot better during re-entry after after its suborbital hop. I just have to figure out the re-entry path because if I this thing is so wibbly wobbly. Observe once the um, the actual craft is gone, even though it says that the empty weight is over here in front of the center of lift, like it's supposed to, it does act a, a little a little unstable. I'm actually thinking about putting maybe some Juno engines on here to, to maybe give it some thrust because while it's in the thinner atmosphere it, it like I said it's a little unstable and so I have to sort of nosedive so that's what we're going to do today we're going to go ahead and test this thing out one more time and see if we can't get the flight path of the first stage figured out all right let's what the fuck? what the fuck hold on oh somehow that took a giant fart that's better all right in three two one uh one okay okay revert three two one hello hello oh god three two one There. Okay, this time for sure. In three, two, one. Engage. Separating in three, two, one. <sighs> oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. Now there's nobody in here. It's just uh, all, oh, hello. It's just all um, uh, computer, rised, remote control, not computer, excuse me. So we're not gonna worry about this at all. We're just gonna go ahead and have it point up so it can just go away because we are testing the first stage re-entry. Okay, so that can that can burn up. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So first stage re-entry is mostly just a prograde. Oh well, hmm. How about how about SAS? We'll do SAS. Alright, here we go. Tell you what, we'll F5 save because we're trying to figure out the flight path of this thing. Okay, well, hmm. gliding pretty smoothly here nice has a very slow gliding speed which is kind of nice the moon right there ooh 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 yeah all right so that was a hill ah oh, shit 
Okay, I can't turn now. 45 meters per second. I mean, the glide speed's real slow, so this should be relatively nice and... Oh! <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. Ah, that is actually really smooth. Oh my gosh, that was really smooth. Very smooth. Oh, very smooth. Me like. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this is it for now. Uh, it's a success. Yes, and I don't think I have to mess with these at all. So uh, that 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 that's that 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 works. That works, and I believe the craft that was detached from it has something like uh, almost almost 4,000 delta V. So that's plenty to go to the moon and come back and whatnot. But uh, yeah, there it goes. Um, one of these weekends, we'll do a stream where we'll actually do a mission. But until then, love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you really like this video, consider subscribing. We do KSP often. We also have a membership if you're interested. If you get a membership, uh, you get a little cool emojis and stuff next to your name and badges and whatnot. But that's it for this Kerbal Space Program video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Yeah.